Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 in Gathering Storm as Hungry. So we're going to take a moment here and just heal up some of these units. I can't afford to heal these units up though, unfortunately. They do need to march on and participate in the killing of this city because we need to flip anchor. Again, this attack key thing, it's worked for me for so long, but just out of the blue with this expansion... Now my units start just randomly moving around the map, and I'm getting a little bit tired of it. Can I get enough units in range? We'll flip this city. Place this guy in here. So now the loyalty in Istanbul should be pretty stable. Uh, we're going to liberate Bandar Brunei. I'm getting a, I'm getting a little irked. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little bit annoyed, a little bit upset about the whole um, units doing things that they're not supposed to do based on the orders that I gave them. Because like, so, like for ninety nine percent of the time, it works just fine. It works just. Fine, but enough of the time it works too weirdly. All right, the extra diplomatic visibility here actually translates into. Um... Oh, I kind of wish I'd gotten this now, but it'll translate into a little bit of a combat advantage. If we look here, we hover over this. You can see I'm getting plus three combat damage from having intel on my opponent's moves. We just got the military academy over here, so we can start producing uh, maybe a pike and shot core. We've got a couple of these going. Let's go ahead and repair some buildings. Have some envoys. I can start working on Hattusa. Um, it's a lot of envoys they've got in there. We've got a policy slot open now. Nighter and coal, we receive more. This would allow me to build more units. Um, alternatively, total war here for pillaging yields would be pretty good too. Yeah, you would retreat into the city like a jerk. Told me you could attack, but of course the game is always lying to me. About what my units can and cannot do. I actually want you closer here to give extra movement to these bombards so they can support a little bit easier. Uh, I want you down in this direction with this going there. Oh, I still don't have a big enough army to really split up, and his cities are so powerful right now. Man, it's it's making this whole combat thing really, really difficult. Um, that's the downside of going against a really um, really advanced AI. I will buy this tile. This is a nice double chop. And we'll go ahead and clear out this tile too. We'll put a farm there. And you can start moving to join the front line. Uh, this is actually a pretty good farm triangle in here. Let's get that going. You head down this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm getting a little annoyed by those kind of things. I mean, it's just, you know, you press a button and you expect things to go the way that you, they, they've always gone. And when you're doing the same thing but getting different outcomes, it becomes very, very annoying and very disheartening and it makes you... Uh, lose your trust in the game. I'm going to vote that down in the hopes that the emergency does not pass. Okay. We've prevented the emergency. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. So I need to get my bombards down. This weakened bombard... I want inside this. We'll bring my great general down so these guys can shoot. You really can't shoot over this. Okay. Become artillery. I wish I'd turn this into artillery, but becoming artillery is useful. And we will bring a bunch of our field cannons over to start fighting uh, Bursa. 
see now we have stabilized our loyalty by pushing through. Let's go ahead and do some damage here. Get rid of that. There we go. See, now it's working. Just sometimes I, I click the buttons and the buttons don't do what they tell me they would do. So the loyalty in here is a bit of a problem. I have no more people to reassign. I need to keep Pingala over here. Magnus, I can actually probably safely reassign uh, over to here. Just make sure our loyalty is stable. Completed another builder in here. Let's take a look at Lundy's productivity. I think I need a builder down here in Babango or Babanango. Um, go ahead and get that encampment. Repair this. Get the monument for the loyalty. You're heading out this way. You're chopping there. You're putting a farm there. You're heading this way. You're putting a farm there. Uh, go ahead and repeat that trade route. You wait there. You wait there. I know I might I might be complaining a lot, but god damn it, it's it's annoying when it happens. Let's pillage that trade route for a little bit of gold. We need to maximize our gold income from these wars. Um It's actually a really good farm right there. That makes that an even better farm. Let's go ahead and take the incendiaries promotion. And take the Arrow Storm promotion. Go ahead and pillage that. Go here. Oh, I thought you would be able to pillage. You are not able to pillage, and now you're dead because I can't move to any tiles that will get you away from this unless I move. Yeah, there's nowhere I can go. I thought I'd be able to just go here and straight up do it, but he took this really weird path that led to his death, which is unfortunate. Nothing we can really do about it. Finish that holy site, get the shrine. Need to be producing more units. I'm not producing enough units. That is for sure. There's a moderate flood. But now that we have artillery, cities should start going down a lot quicker. So if we can take a quick look here. So this is the damage this city will do. That's almost a fifth of its health compared to uh, this unit being doing almost nothing. Also might be safe to slam some units in here. Well, safe is perhaps the incorrect word. Uh, worth it to do so. Is probably a more appropriate word. Let's pillage there. Move Pantanal. here. There's Pantanal. Move forward. We spend some time healing, bring the bombard up, bring the field cannon up. Put a mine there, choose production. We got a trader in here. I think that's because I wanted to produce artillery. I can now faith purchase an artillery over here. Sorry, I wanted to do that in a city where I had one of these. 720, 730 for an artillery core. Mm. I might wait until national uh, mobilization so I can make uh, artillery armies. Barracks, finish that nice and quick. Get the temple. Military Academy. Why is this so negative? What the hell? I've done everything I can to stabilize the loyalty in here. And yet it's still falling so quickly. I 
I really do think there should be a minimum number of turns before a city flips. Because um, it makes the whole whole process a lot more arduous that they can only flip one at a time, uh, or they can flip so quickly. It is what it is. You know? You gotta deal with the loyalty. Um, I did get a question. Uh, should I have raised any of these cities? Uh, no. If you're going to um, have a, a reasonable chance to fight the loyalty, you need to keep all the cities alive, and then you need to control them. Um, the gradient dust storm over there. So this city should flip independent and be really annoying. It spawn a bunch of units that I have to deal with. Let's pull you back. Um... Let's take care of Bandar Brunei first. So if you can shoot from there, you can shoot from here. Then you can shoot from here. Where is my great general? Ah, okay. This guy is actually doing nothing over here. But if I teleport him to here, this city will be able to shoot. And look at that. Now the city falls basically instantly thanks to the artillery. So I'm going to spend the turn healing on you. Go ahead and make sure we take that. Liberate it. That's why we have a little bit less loyalty pressure against us. Not... Ugh. That's also another really annoying thing. Um, if you guys don't know about it. Basically, uh, cities, because I have steel, any free cities will now spawn with 400 fortification health that I have to chew through. And these are also going to be fighting me too. So, really, really annoying, really, really obnoxious, and very difficult to deal with. I don't think the cur current iteration of the loyalty system makes the game more fun. Um... That is my opinion. Get the granary. Uh, okay. I think it's just be it's kind of a pain in the ass, really. And then I could have more cards plugged in for loyalty, but the loyalty numbers are just so crazy. I think I, I would honestly be better off just having one army that sweeps in to take the cities, and then a secondary army that comes in to take back the free cities, um, rather than trying to sustain a, a ma massive front like this that I'm trying to do right now. So I need to start doing damage to this city. And unfortunately, you are in a very bad position. I need to get you back to heal in Urs Urfa. Bring these guys up to fight. I mean, this city will fall really, really quickly. Um, is that the Kree over there? Oh, it is. So let the arduous process of conquering continue. I need a builder in here to repair stuff. All right, you've got a build charge. Go ahead and put a farm over there. Put a farm there, that's not a problem. We can trade with Antioch for the more gold. Harvest that, that'll finish these things. Attacking this city is such a pain in the ass. Go here, we'll go to the next turn. Alright, I'm gonna place a farm over there, that's fine. I can't afford to really make a lot of NIDA units yet. We're gonna lose some units. I can't even see it happening because there's so much crap on my screen. Good god. Yeah, I lost that unit there, which was to be expected. Um, let's bring the artillery onto this hill. Completely rip the walls down in a single turn. So the difference the difference between having artillery and not having artillery is just insane. <laughs> Excuse me. 
The city is rebelling. You can't even move and shoot. Okay. Uh... Well, the holy site because that city is not really important. It literally exists just to get me some uh, iron. Where is this great general? You create cavalry. I want you to be with my artillery because you're the only thing that can boost them right now. Can you get onto this tile and still attack? So, like, now with our boosted our artillery, we can take cities in, like, one turn, right? That's That's the advantage. But even that won't save us from our greatest problems. Need to flip Bursa ASAP. Istanbul can wait. We need to kill Bursa because that's what the loyalty pressure is. Uh, that's where the loyalty pressure is coming from. Get repairing. Probably better off as a mine. This can be a mine as well. Rebelling in three turns. Put this here, that'll secure it for now. There's no sense having an army over here. I mean, I could Faith Purchase an army now. Um, but I want to hold off. Oil expenditure is at minus three. I thought I only had two artillery. What the hell is spending my oil? This third one, right. Uh, what I could do is push you up here. Nope. It's unfortunate. But I'll be able to get an artillery uh, attacking Bursa very, very soon. These are basically useless now. Um... These things like siege towers and stuff like that. I just want to keep them alive so they can become medics. Okay. I don't know why it deselected you. I wanted to keep you selected. It might seem silly to just make a bunch of farms. But if these cities can grow, they can uh, maybe produce some stuff for me. Okay, let's get started on Istanbul. Need to deal with this field cannon. So, remind me again why you can't shoot here. I want this movement. I need to be able to defend against melee units. You're going to take a hell of a lot of damage over there. It's telling me you can shoot, but for some reason, me pressing the button does nothing. Okay? So this guy can shoot this guy, but this guy right here can't. Is this a hill? Yeah, it is, and this is flatland. Alright, whatever. Yeah, the rules seem inconsistent and capricious. Absorb that man. You have literally no production. So I want this arty 
to get to this tile. And that's why I did this sequence of moves. And I want you to come in here. There's my other general. Renaissance and Industrial. You head over here. Four turns. Start repairing. Make your way. Go ahead and do the Fabricate Scandal job. Can you move out of there? Nope. You guys just wait there. Go ahead and get repairing. I'd love to get that oil online, but I would require plastics. Just quite a few techs away. So, I mean, there are ways to do earlier war, which can be a little bit more reliable. Uh, sorry, not reliable, but can be faster for winning the game. But I find that just going to war later in the game is more reliable. That's kind of the, the reasoning why I delayed going to war so much. As I find, I feel, I feel like going to war early uh, can be a little bit all or nothing and things can go really poorly for you. We don't care about Ankara flipping independent. Because the only thing that we care about is getting Bursa. Can you really not attack from this tile? Don't tell me this is hills as well. No, you should be able to attack from here. The only thing we care about is getting this city down into a state of attackability. We need to kill these musketmen behind us. So they'll kill our artillery while we're not looking. And now the city itself is going to start taking shots at us, which is... Oh, so joyous. And I also like how two musketmen spawn. Like, where do these musketmen come from? For real. Now, I know part of the loyalty is uh, grievances. In fact, most of it is now. But you can kind of see why this is, this is why I don't like... Um, it used to be I didn't like domination games because they were too easy. Now I don't like domination games because they're too tedious and managing managing the loyalty is basically impossible, right? I, I, I have a governor placed that gives me loyalty. I've been placing all the governors I can in these cities, but it still doesn't help. I mean, I could be running more policies, but what's the point when the negative loyalty is on the order of like 10 to 20? I mean, a minus two loyalty card. Where is it? Plus two loyalty for this. Wow. Okay. Plus two. And then... Uh, there's another plus two loyalty card near somewhere. It's like plus four loyalty. Wow. Plus four loyalty. I have minus 20. It's not going to help. So yeah. Can you tell? I'm a little bit miffed. Can you tell? I don't know why it unplugged my entire uh, thing here. Guys, where is the card? Chivalry. There we go. All right. We have plenty of niter. Uh, we can start producing stuff like cuirassiers. We completed the builder in here. The city is gonna grow, which is good. They need to kill this city. Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of frustrating. Um, I feel like every game I play, every time I try to go for a domination game, something goes catastrophically wrong. Um, like, as hungry, I want to liberate these city-states, but, but in my current situation, I want to keep them under my control. And then, like, look, these guys haven't even built a military for me to levy. So, for the person who asked me, why didn't I liberate Pelinki and levy their army? This is why. They don't build armies when you, when you liberate them, right? Like, like, wh why did I do this? Why did I liberate them? I should have just kept them under my control. I probably liberated, liberated them for the Warmonger um, buffs and stuff like that. And plus, some of these things are pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. I'm half tempted to just transition into, like, a science victory or something. We have the science to do it. But I've spent so much time on military infrastructure that we may as well keep going. Um, this just feels like tedium. I just need... I need so many. I need so many artilleries. To the point where I'm just going to chain purchase artilleries and combine them together and throw them at these cities until my eyes bleed. It's the only solution I have to the problem. 
did we even find any more oil? Like, so little oil on the map. There's not even oil down around here. Let's see, any oil. Okay. Okay, most of these units don't matter. The only thing that really matters now is artillery. Go ahead and repair that. We'll go to the next turn. Don't tell me they killed my artillery. No, okay, my artillery survived. So, let's rip down the walls. So again, because these cities flipped independent, we don't have enough loyalty to keep this city for anything longer than like two turns. Because for some reason, the loyalty, like, for some reason I'm only getting, I should be getting eight loyalty from governors, right? Am I crazy? Is that not what governors provide? Eight loyalty, okay? Eight. A sign. It goes from minus 16 to minus 12. Can someone explain this to me? It says eight. Oh, well it is at minus nine now. So at this level, actually, um, 500 gold to change that. That is super not worth it. We'll wait the two turns. Can we afford to wait the two turns? Nope. So I'm going to have to spend that gold. What we're going to do is we are going to do... Uh, I don't really have room for these cards. We're going to put the card in. We're going to put this in. Maybe it'll help with loyalty. It'll help in this specific instance. Castellan is helping a lot. Plus four. Like, even these numbers don't seem consistent. You go there, you go there, you go there, you shoot there, you shoot there. You go there. Faith purchase more artillery. You come in this way. Faith purchase more artillery. You're healed up. Let's go ahead and get over to Ankara. Let's start damaging that city. Rebellion in two turns. Right. Alright, commercial hub, blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 dum. We kill a mine. Do we care if we kill a mine? Do we build a navy at all? I don't think we care about a navy. Hey, you know what? Let's let's play around with some of these rangers. They seem like they could be fun. Uh, okay, we got the encampment in here. Let's go ahead and get the barks. And get that monument. You hide. You heal. You fortify. And like the annoying thing is like the cities when they liberate to the free because they're based on the fact that I control them. They're actually they're stronger than they were when they were under control of of um what's his name the ottomans so not in, like once my art and this is the stage of the game that i really don't like because basically once my artillery is fired all my other units don't matter um so it just becomes this exercise in like clicking through all my units for no reason just to get to the next turn so you know i have a number of complaints Of course the city went independent. Of course the city went independent. And then perfectly manages to trap. To trap my artillery in this position. Perfectly. Perfect. Managing to trap it perfectly. To the point where it's going to be very difficult to liberate this now. JK. Should be actually fairly straightforward. What? What? Okay, that should have that should do the trick. Like, why couldn't the artillery appear there for real? You know what I mean. And now this city is going independent, or no, it's not actually. It just has low loyalty. Field cannon. Give you the long orders. Uh, 
We are burning oil now. Let's get some hazars. Huzzah! Okay, we got the monument in here. Let's do the repairs. I like the cities that you conquer, like, none of these cities are ready to really be producing units other than, like, crappy pikemen. Is the city's taking se the city has almost finished the pikemen, okay? Is that, like, almost finished and it's still taking forever to produce it, you know what I mean? Tis what it is. I, I also don't really pay much attention to these cities, so that's probably... Uh, not working. Why do, why, is, why do I have this pin here? I'm obviously not going to be building the Oracle. I remember I was I was making a point about something uh, in an earlier episode. This city has all of the food that it'll ever need. It is tough to get through the turns. It is tough. It's tough, man. It's a real hard life trying to kill these cities. All right, we got Bursa. See, like, and every time I conquer a city, I need to, like, take some time to heal my units up. This is where a medic would be amazing. Hell yeah, supply convoys. I'm gonna want at least one of those. Alright, artillery. I need to know more about this city, so sacrificial cuirass here. You go to there. You go to there, where is the Great General? You go here, this will allow them to shoot this turn, even though they've moved. See? Now that I have artillery, this is practically trivial. The city has minus 21 loyalty per turn. Need to capture Istanbul. It'll be worth it just throwing my units at it. Apparently. The answer is yes. Now what's your loyalty? Minus 15. That's more manageable. Okay, that's manageable. We're going to move Victor. This will hurt my loyalty temporarily. I can't afford to do that, actually. All right. We're making good progress. No matter how chagrined I am. Like, again, every time these cities flip independent, their population gets smaller and the amount of loyalty pressure they exert goes down. Uh, the only saving grace I have is that next turn I'm going to be in a golden age and the Ottomans aren't going to be in a golden age. So let's go ahead and just see what that looks like in terms of loyalty. Because I've been struggling, man. I'm just going to shift enter. I don't want to, like, cycle through all these units that don't matter. The only thing that matters now is artillery. So we are in a golden age. Bada bing, bada boom. Surging machinery. There's urbanization. Let's change policies to nothing. Let's make our dedication. We want to get the to arms. Uh, so loyalty wise. Aha. Okay. So we have sent the Ottomans spiraling into a dark age. So loyalty is going to be so much easier to deal with. How am I not exerting enough loyalty pressure on this city? For real, dude. But look at that. Part, part of the problem was we were in just like, you know, he was in a golden age, he has all the cities. Now the fact that we're in a golden age is going to make things quite a bit easier. God, this city is absolute ass to attack into. Okay, but can it be done? So it's really unfortunate. The only thing that matters is artillery. Ah, I wish I hadn't moved you there. Whoops. Let's go ahead and get the what. I tell you what, though. I tell you what, though. We're going to call this the end of the episode. We've made some good progress. We have uh, control of quite a few of the city-states. You can see my empire has swept across. So now that we've broken the back of the Ottomans, we're going to start snowballing. 
we're up to 31 techs. However, the Ottomans is now down to 100 science per turn. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt's going to be a problem. Uh, because his tech is so high and his cities are so strong. I might have to use giant death robots to push on him. But, uh, you know, I feel like the AI is a little bit better at defending themselves against a the domination victory. Um, I think part of the problem as well, I just got, I kind of got a total dog shit start too. Like, I mean, what is this flatland capital? Sorry, the capital itself, I think, was settled on a hill. But every tile within my first ring was flatland. Like, it was total ass, dude. I basically had to rush a builder just to get t uh, tiles with yield three, which is unheard of. Um, but yeah. We're making it work, we're making it work. Slowly but surely. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll win this war. It's just, it's going to take a while. Uh, I'd love to just poke in here and see what that is about. So there's Adirna. Adirna. Take out Izmir. Pop in. Pop through. Take Adirna. I'm going to look to just combine as many of these units together as I can to reduce the number of units I have to control. I really wish you could combine these uh, city-state units. That would be very, very nice. Let's bring you up this way to become a supply convoy next turn. Anyway, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Don't forget, I will be streaming on twitch.tv forward slash potato McWhiskey. Come over there, check me out live. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. I do apologize for maybe being a little bit whiny this episode. I'm a little bit demoralized today, so that might be, that might have more to do with it than me complaining uh, about what's actually happening. But uh, the show must go on, etc., etc., etc. He says as if his quote unquote job is difficult and or uh, entertaining. All right, I love you all. Bye bye.